All right, everyone. So Luka Doncic was in front of the media today, and he responded to two, I think, very big, big uh, questions. So we'll start with the first one, which was the one about his injury, and the second one was about his relationship with Kristaps Porzingis. So here is the clip. Um, and obviously six days between games. How much is that time and that layoff kind of help with recovery, um, just with the knee and the ankle? Well, about the same. Uh, I, didn't, I mean, didn't get any better. Uh, I mean, a good amount of rest to get that better. Uh, but it's, it's been more days, you know, so uh, hopefully I'll see it. I'll check in the game one if it's better or not. Um, but it's been great to have some rest for sure. Luca, do you have any comment on Cameron Parsons' comments about your relationship with uh, Christoph Porzingis? No comments. He just said that you didn't like playing with him. <laughs> you see, that's why I don't watch a lot of that because people don't know. <laughs> I talked to Cameron Parsons maybe twice in my life, so I don't know how he would do that. Uh, but me and KB have a good relationship. Uh, I don't know what people would say otherwise. Luca. So two things here. We're going to start with the first part, which is the injury. Um, look, if Luke is not better by this, you know, rest that they've had so far in between, you know, the Eastern and Western Conference Finals and the NBA Finals, then this is certainly an injury that's going to basically take the entire offseason for him to heal from, right? And I don't mean the entire offseason, like, you know, he's not going to be good until next, you know, year's training camp. But, I mean, it's not going to be something where, like, two or three days here and there is going to, like, take him from being injured to not being injured at all, right? So if that's the case, then we know exactly what that's going to be, right? So he's probably going to be injured for the finals. Um, you know, everybody's kind of hurt at this point, but I definitely think Luka was hobbled, and that may be something that impacts how this series goes because he's going to have to, he can't not play defense against the Boston Celtics, right? You have to play defense against the Boston Celtics. They have five guys who are elite scorers, on their, in their starting lineup. It's just you just are going to have to play defense, and um, if that knee's really bothering them, it will become a factor. The second part, as we always say, the point of this network is to be, I think, more fair to these players and, uh, well, to really the entirety of, you know, whether it's the owners, who, just be fair to the people that are the, you know, are the subjects of these stories. And so yesterday we covered what Chandler Parsons said about this. And we basically said, hey, look, you know, makes sense that there would be beef between these two. But Luke is pretty adamant here that there's really no beef and that, you know, he didn't even know the comment was made. So, as always, we want to be fair and give kind of that side of the story, too, because that's part of the problem is the only thing that gets talked about is the, well, yeah, they don't like each other, or, you know. And then that becomes the narrative, whereas the truth is, is that, according to Luca, there's no beef there. Now, will there be Dallas fans that are pissed, like Chandler Parsons said? My guess is probably, especially if Chris Dops is really cooking the Mavericks, that may be something that comes up. But other than that, you know, I think they did all the right stuff here. Um, or he said all the right stuff here. And I'm glad that, you know, he was open and giving. So now people can kind of know what we're looking forward to in this series, right? Like, Luca's probably not going to be 100%. Nobody's really going to be 100%, but that knee is still bothering him. And like he said, they're going to check back game one to see, you know, where it's at, he may be looking more rested, right? Because it certainly doesn't hurt to have time off, but he's not all the way back. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.